Okay, welcome to Warrior Blur. Okay, big things are happening right now. I have finally gotten to the place of drastic change. Okay, uh, freak, I want to say join us, join us. Kind of joking around, but like, I wouldn't advise anyone to do this, really. Uh, what do, what do they say? Uh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a little, uh, burnt. Results may vary. No, this is true. Okay, this is what I've come up with. You know how everything distracts you? And you absorb all the influence around you, whether you watch TV, music. Music is amazing. I've absorbed enough. This is the epiphany, not even an epiphany. This is the transformation, the big honcho, the big transformation of everything I've been through, all the suffering and the death to be reborn, to rise like a phoenix on fire, Aries on fire out of the ashes. Pull a complete switch, but I will still be comedian. Wow, there's people like to ride you behind you in the car. They never think, maybe this guy had, doesn't have a good car. It's not always a 90 year old in the car that's driving slow. Do you really think I would drive slow? I'm a little bit of a hyper, manic ADHD, PTSD, GAD, OCD, all the Ds, all the Ds please. But, Okay, I've absorbed enough. That's the uh, conclusion of all of this. So inside this circle, oh, I can't do a circle. I'm feeling wacky like Urkel. I can't do no circle. I know that was cheesy, but I gotta go get some H2O so I can pump some protein shake into my system and lift weights. No more absorbing anything, no more TV. No more media, no more news. I wasn't doing much of it, but this is what I've learned, okay? Everything I've been through, dying, getting reborn, right? I can't waste time, I'm here on a mission. So I need to be productive at every moment. Oh, red light, that's okay, because I gotta talk anyway. So, what I've learned last night, laying in bed, deep in thought as usual, what happened was, I'm like, okay, what I, I'm obsessed with creativity because we are made in the image of the gods. We are miniature creators, so that is power to change the world. We also got super consciousness here, add surrenderance into the mix, and add a little bit of a, a little bit, a little dose. You're yeah, right, add complete psychosis into the mix. What I'm saying is. So, I be creative. I have to adjust to this. That's the main thing. So I'm going to document it. I'll probably be meditating mostly for like a couple weeks till July 4th when I claim complete freedom. Independence Day. That's why they call it that. Complete freedom. Self-mastery. And now I'm on the mastery of time, purpose, productivity. Focus. Hyper-focus. But what I've learned is, so I live creative. I don't absorb any influence because I've absorbed enough. I am now completely unplugging myself to fully get plugged in, right? So what I'm saying is, there's no time wasting. I'm going to the afterlife. I be creative. If the stress hormones rise or tension from overworking myself, what do I do? I meditate and absorb. What I absorb is the God's universe energy planet earth peep i absorb energy i don't absorb tv even music i want to create music i get it now i've absorbed enough there's enough absorption i'm ready to exude absorb the universe the gods the energy the holy extraterrestrials join us and advance the human species, advance in intelligence. So this is what I'm learning. No more influence is penetrating through the circle. Everybody's different, so 
Whatever you hear here, if anything helps you, hear here. Whatever you hear here, hear here. Whatever you hear, if it helps you in any way, if it could fit into your spiritual, mental, emotional makeup, the way you are made up, if it makes sense to you, and you use it, incorporate it into your life, and it works, by all means. Bruce Lee said it. He, what did he say? Absorb what, like, he said basically like, take what you need, get rid of what you don't, and be your own original self, you add your own spin to it. This is what I've become. So, this is about unplugging yourself to be plugged in. Some sort of freaky matrix neo type stuff. But it's, it's kind of true, but we're all distinct, unique individuals. This is the good thing. There's no ego here. We're all unique and special and different, except for the evil people that go around killing killing innocent people, murdering the greedy people that only care about themselves and, you know, the greed, give me more money, more money, more money that I could never spend in a lifetime. So I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to keep it, <laughs> I'm going to keep it until I die, and nobody's going to get it. They're going to fight over the will. The family's going to be pulled apart. Their hearts are going to be shredded. They're going to be all fighting over the money. I've always said I never want to hear about money when someone I love passes away. I don't care about money, man. Money. Money don't mean nothing. We're in a universe where planet Earth isn't even the size of a speck of dust. It's about this money. It's the battle of the souls in this bio machine. So if you want to join us, join me, Blair, on this quest. You can better yourself by unplugging yourself a little bit and getting plugged in. Surrender to the God energy where you don't get so concerned. You don't fear so much about what's going on here because this time is short. To the universe, our time is already over. It's in the blink of an eye. Boom, it's done. All of us. So what's important here? They have the life. The higher intelligent, higher dimension, they have the life. We are spiritual beings. We are meant to ascend. We are meant to metamorphosize. You're chilling with Blair. You've been blurred. Oh, it would have been cool if I could have blurred out the camera there, but that's alright. Thank you for chilling. Your peace.